Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Crendor, and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where I make top 10 lists of pointless things, where we fly by his pointless statue in Booty Bay, because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 are the Thunderfist Gorillas located in the Jade Forest, and you know, they're not going to be as interesting or exciting as some of the other gorillas we'll look at on this list, but they're still pretty cool, which is why I wanted to put them on the list, and I thought it'd be a good time to talk about a gorilla fact, which is gorillas' arms are longer than their legs. Because of the length of their arms, gorillas are better able to walk on all fours. They do everything with the tips of their fingers and knuckles. They are capable of walking on two legs for about 10 feet. Gorillas' arm span is roughly one foot longer than that of an adult human male. Though modern gorillas spend most of their time on the ground, their lengthy forearms hint at a past life in the trees. So there you go, that's some gorilla facts. I figured it'd be a good point to put it in there because it's like, you know, gorilla arms, thunder fist, fist arms, they're attached. Listen, I'm just trying to find something. That's why the Thunderfist Gorillas are number 10. Nine. Number nine is Zeus, and Zeus is a gorilla witch doctor located in Gorilla Gorge in Zuldazar. And not only is he a cool gorilla witch doctor, but he is likely a reference to Dr. Zeus from Planet of the Apes. And all I can ever think of when I hear of Dr. Zeus is the Simpsons thing where they're like, Dr. Zeus, Dr. Zeus, Dr. Zeus. <laughs> But even if this wasn't a reference to Planet of the Apes, I think this is an awesome gorilla. I mean, he's literally a gorilla witch doctor. Like, how cool is that? And he's got abilities called uh, Gorilla Science and Banana Launch Pattern Alpha, <laughs> which are also fantastic. Also, he's a part of a quest called Unending Gorilla Warfare, where you have to kill him, as well as Dakani Pugilists, Dakani Highbrows, and King Daka, all of who did not make the list, so I'm sorry to all of them, but there's a little shout out for all of them. But overall, I couldn't pass up Witch Doctor Gorilla, also a Planet of the Apes reference, and also kind of a Simpsons reference, because I love the Simpsons. So that's why Zeus is number nine. Eight. Number eight is Mock the Savage, and Mock the Savage is a gorilla found in a cave in the Cape of Stranglethorn that will only appear after being summoned by Witch Doctor Unbagwa when you turn in Gorilla Fangs. So Finn Fizzracket is suffering from Stranglethorn Fever, which is a deadly virus, and the only cure is to eat the heart of Mock Savage, which I don't know how he knows this, but he must just be knowledgeable about Stranglethorn diseases or something. <laughs> so he's like, yo, you gotta go find Witch Doctor Unbagwa. So you go to Witch Doctor Unbagwa, and he's like, yo, bring me some Gorilla Fangs, and then we're gonna get attacked by gorillas. And then that's what happens. You get attacked by gorillas, you protect him, and then Mock the Savage shows up, and you kill him, and you take his heart, and you go back to him, and then he's feeling A-OK. -okay. This is one of those quests I always remember, because I always remember dying to the waves of gorillas, and then you get to Mock the Savage, and then just this weird, like, sickness, stranglethorn fever thing. It's, just, it's a really weird quest, but it's a memorable one, and so that's why it's number eight. Seven. Number seven are the Elder Mistvale Gorillas, found in Mistvale Valley in the Cape of Stranglethorn. And there's two things I remember these gorillas for. Well, three, because technically they do drop the gorilla fangs for the Mock the Savage quest we just talked about, so that's one. Then the Mistvale Giblets, which are for scaring Shaky. You essentially get a bunch of giblets, and he's supposed to pay his gambling debts, and you take it to him and go like, look, this is what happens when you don't pay your debts, and then... He's supposed to think they're like human giblets, but it's actually gorilla giblet. What even is a giblet? It's a uh, the liver, heart, gizzard, and neck. Uh, ugh. <laughs> I didn't even know. That. I thought it was just like the thing in their throat. Because I remember turkeys on Thanksgiving. Well, there you go. Okay. And then the aged gorilla sinew, which may be one of the worst drop rates in World of Warcraft history. I would either get this after like two kills or like two hours. I also have fond memories of these gorillas because I remember way back in like 2005 when I started playing, I took the Zeppelin here and I ran out into Stranglethorn and these were like one of the first mobs I saw and I was like level nine at the time and I was like, dude, this is crazy. These are like a uh, question mark gorillas. <laughs> So there's a, there's actually a lot of things that tie into these gorillas that make me like them a lot. And so that's why they're number seven. Six. Number six is Amy01. And Amy01 is a mechanical gorilla that is designed by Karna Rem Travel. She pretty much says something's happened to one of my greatest inventions. You've seen mechanical squirrels. Well, to get closer to the apes of Ungoro, I created a mechanical ape to blend in with their kind called Amy01. And this is actually a reference to the book and movie Congo, where there's a gorilla that knows sign language named Amy. So you head out, you go and find Amy, 
and you need to go find a mithril casing and then turn the power off and on, which is kind of funny. They did a little, you know, turn it off and on again, goof. And then after you repair Amy, you have to escort her back to the Ungoro camp, which was always really annoying back in the day, which is part of the reason I remember this quest, not only because you had to go get the mithril casing, but then you had to do the escort quest. And then, you know, there'd always be someone else doing the escort quest. It was just a whole thing. But anyway, once you're done with that, she's like, thank you very much. She's got a bunch of dents. We'll get her up and running perfectly with just a little work. Thanks again. So, you know, it's a fun quest, a little bit involved, but listen, this is a robotic gorilla. There's not many of these in the game. And so that's why Amy is number six. Five. Number five is King Mukla. And King Mukla is an enormous sky main gorilla found on Jaguero Isle in the Cape of Stranglethorn. And he has captured a Taran princess, Puba. And people say he's either a reference to King Kong or Donkey Kong, but it seems more like Donkey Kong. However, Donkey Kong is a reference to King Kong, so it really just all comes back around anyway. <laughs> he does have a move called Barrel Bash, where he hurls a massive barrel at the enemy, which explodes. So, you know, just like in the Donkey Kong video game, he's throwing barrels at you, but... I think a lot of people remember King Mukla just because of Hearthstone. Like, I think <laughs> I think he's more well-known in Hearthstone than he is in World of Warcraft. In fact, in Hearthstone, there's an old god corrupted version of King Mukla, Mukla the Tyrant of the Veil. In fact, King Mukla's had a bunch of lore in Hearthstone, probably more than World of Warcraft, where he's just a reference, but that's Hearthstone. That's not WoW. But either way, King Mukla, giant gorilla, really cool. He's number five. Four. Number four is Sul Kalu, and Sul Kalu is an earth spirit that's a large white gorilla rare mob wandering west of Lake Nosferidi. They are one of the three totemic spirits worshipped by the Bloodscalp tribe, whose members carry idols of the earth spirit in the form of small ape-shaped statues. The other two Bloodscalp spirits are Mahamba, who is a water crocodile spirit, and Pogayan, 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 who is a mountain lion fire spirit. Sul Kalu is also a reference to Sul Kalu, which is a giant featured in the legends of the Cherokee people of the southeastern United States. And Sul Kalu is pretty cool because he's one of only two blue-white gorillas that are tameable by hunters, the other being Uklok, another rare mob. Sul Kalu is also one of the largest in-game gorillas, although considerably smaller than King Mukla. So there you go, Sul Kalu may not be the biggest gorilla, but he's the second biggest, he's a rare mob, he's an earth spirit, and he's pretty cool, and that's why he's number four. Three. Number three is Gargantua, the chained up gorilla at the Dark Moon Fair, and a lot of people think Gargantua is a reference to King Kong, especially with all the artwork all over, and you're like, oh, it's King Kong on those, but it's actually a reference to Gargantua the Great, and he was a 550-pound gorilla that drew more than 40 million circus goers for the Ringling Brothers Circus. So there you go, a little historical fact there, but, uh, you know, Gargantua is probably one of the big sights to see here at the Dark Moon Fair Petting Zoo, but I don't even know if I'd call it a petting zoo. There's not many things you could pet here at the Dark Moon Fair more more so just a zoo. In fact, I made a pointless top 10 Dark Moon Fair things you could check out at the cards above if you want to see that. But overall, Gargantua, really cool gorilla, and probably the main attraction of the actual Dark Moon Fair zoo area. So that's why Gargantua is number three. Two. Number two is Grong, and I think Grong actually might be the biggest gorilla in the game, but according to Wowpedia, Grong is an intelligent gorilla located in Zuldazar, the smartest of his kind. When war came to Zandalar, bilgewater goblins attempted to poach the Dakani gorillas despite the gorillas' best efforts to speak with them peacefully. In response to this, Grong joined forces with the Alliance, volunteering to become a living weapon against the Horde by converting his intelligence into pure strength with gnomish technology. Grong, having been increased in size and power, but decreased in his intelligence by Gnomish Engineering, fought the Horde in the Battle of the Zaralor. After he was killed by the Horde, he was risen as an undead by Buon Samdi and turned against the Alliance, who in turn put him to rest. Which I actually did not know, because I've only done the Horde version of this. <laughs> and looking it up, I was like, oh my god, that's an undead gorilla. So... I guess that I was going to put him on the list, but I'm get, I, they're technically the same one. So I also learned that the Dakani are a tribe of intelligent gorillas in Gorilla Gorge and Zuldazar, and they became enlightened due to their exposure to Kajamite. So these gorillas are pretty much like X-Men. They're like X-Gorillas. <laughs> But aside from that, Grong is probably the biggest and smartest gorilla in the game. And on top of that, he's a raid boss. So that's why he's number two. One. And number one is Glib. And Glib is a gorilla once found at the Bronzebeard encampment in Silithus. And Bran Bronzebeard mentions him in his lost letter. 
At the time of the destruction of Silithus, it seems that Glib was with Bran, as he later can be found with him aboard the Wind's Redemption docked at Boralus in Kul Taras. He travels to Nazmir on Zandalar with Bran. And you might be like, Krendor, well, why is Glib number one? Is that it? Just because it's Bran Bronzebeard's pet? Well, here's the thing. Though he is called a monkey, Glib uses a gorilla model. This is probably because monkey models did not exist in the game when he was added. Even after monkeys were added in Cataclysm, Glib did not receive a new model. And this discrepancy is referenced in Glib's gossip text in Battle for Azeroth, where it says, Glib looks at you curiously. Bran doesn't have the heart to tell him he's not a monkey. <laughs> And I know what everybody's thinking, aren't gorillas and monkeys the same? But if you look it up, is a gorilla a monkey or ape? Almost all monkeys have tails. Apes don't have tails. Since gorillas don't have tails, they are classified as apes. But either way, it felt extremely fitting for a pointless top 10 to have the number one gorilla be a gorilla that thinks he's a monkey and not a gorilla. And that's why he's number one. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member or checking out patreon.com slash crendor. Or if you just want to watch some more Pointless Top 10s, you can check out Pointless Top 10 Lighthouses, which was from last week, or go check out Pointless Top 10 Dark Moon Fair, since I referenced that earlier in the video. Okay? Okay. See ya!